coming soon to HBO. Actually, coming soon tomorrow. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. No time to die. Guess what? Hopefully he doesn't die. James Bond coming out tomorrow. We already talked about it. Uh, but it's worth noting, it is coming out tomorrow. Daniel Craig's fifth and final installment is James Bond. Uh, again, he meets up with his buddy Felix Leiter, who is a longstanding uh, character in the Bond series. Uh, once a white guy, now Jeffrey Wright. Super better. Uh, way better. Yeah, seriously, way better. Uh, he's, he's always way better in everything he does. And um, so this time around, we get to see him uh, fight alongside uh, what's uh, what are, what are there? Jesus, we, did, we literally just mentioned them, them last week. Uh, Lashana Lynch and Ana de Armas. Uh, so yeah. they're going to kick ass. It's going to be, it'll be fun. I, def, I think Don's yeah. going to go see it this weekend. So if you see him out there, buy him a shot again and make him look yeah. in his mouth a little bit. That'd be great. Yeah, just because he's not here. This make time. it make it enough to ruin his popcorn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You like butter? <laughs> <laughs> Well, extra toppings uh, but now we're back to the actual the, the topic I thought it was going to be because that's what I remember before I added James Bond back into this House of the Dragon Fireball Rain is coming to HBO January 1st that's right your New Year's Day gift from HBO is supposedly going to be House of the Dragon which takes place uh, 300 years before the events of Game of Thrones this is based off of the Fire and Blood book from George R.R. R. Martin this looks awesome um, yeah I, obviously, we got a little bit of a bum rush uh, towards the end of that that show. I think a lot of people were just like exhausted. I mean that that series. It sound we're going to get to people being exhausted soon. That series just it felt like it never ended, right? Like for the people working it, for not just the the, the stage talent, but like the people behind the scenes, the sound engineers, the people doing all the different sets and stuff. I'm sure they were dragging after like what felt like a decade worth of work. In sure. eight seasons, um, there's just you, you got to you got to try to get to the end, especially with George R. R. Martin getting older. Uh, you start to go like, uh, is he ever going to finish that book? Uh, probably. I, I, it's still yeah, it's still still questionable. I mean, Robert Jordan died before he finished Wheel of Time, right? Like, yeah, yeah. So it's just it seems to be a trend, maybe for these fantasy authors. Yeah, <laughs> and, I, and I remember a couple of years ago there was like a um, a Willy Wonka golden ticket kind of situation where uh hidden within several books across like the uk there was going to be uh like five golden tickets uh right. for people that you know if they found it they could help write the last book um something like that's something called that delegation effect. yeah <laughs> which is like that feels like a cop out um yeah, but right. i think you know he, he'll probably like like figure the phone hey neil gaiman can you just kind of you just bring this yeah. in from me, buddy. I'm so can tired. you land this? Can, can you land this plane? Because I've really uh, brought myself into a quarter. <laughs> uh, ever since this show came out, I finally used to started getting laid. But unfortunately, these pills, these blue pills, are just running <laughs> me ragged. <laughs> Called Blue Chew. Uh, not a sponsor <laughs> yet. 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 Once we get a little older, hey, come on, let's get some kind in kind uh, sponsorships. Um, <laughs> I digress on that note, but this does look awesome. Uh, we've got Matt Smith for me, famous for Doctor Who. He's been in a bunch of other things recently, The Crown. Um, and then we've got what's his face? Oh, Patty. He's also pretty damn famous. He was recently, um, in the one off HBO show, oh, god damn it, with Jude Law randomly. Um, is it? What was that show? It's got a season two coming out, but I digress. Great okay. actors all around. I think we're going to see you know something at least pretty fun. It's supposed to take place again three hundred years before the events of Game of Thrones. All about the civil war, the Targaryen civil war. Uh, even in the trailer, there's, there's you know they're not saying that uh, battles make kings or whatever. It's dragons, um, and what supposedly they fixed was some crucial design flaw from the Game of Thrones series was they've really fleshed out the Iron Throne. Uh, so in the series, the Iron Throne, obviously it's made out of these swords that have been melted together, but also now you can see uh, from the trailer what looks like swords that line not just like the Iron Throne itself, but all the way down and around the steps. Like they were like almost like a, a wedding gown, that uh, a train that kind of went down the back of the chair to the sides and not the front. So it's very much cool. like a bigger throne. It, it looks, it looks dope. Very cool. But I, 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 
I, I'm excited for this. I think uh, you know a lot of people got turned off by season eight of of Game of Thrones, and uh, they let that ruin kind of the rest of that series for them. But like, there was a lot of good work and a lot of good story arc through the you know at least the first six or seven seasons. I mean, Heck yeah. I mean, you know, I m- one of my running thoughts is always like, I try not to hate any media. There's only I think there's only one movie I can remember that I I, I booed at the end. I think like, that's how much I didn't like it. Did but I tend to like Earth. No, it was actually the last born movie. <laughs> oh, Jeremy Renner. No, the one after that with Matt oh, Damon. With actually Matt Damon. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a discussion for another time. I was just completely disappointed with it. Anyway, uh, but I tend to like I try to like everything. Like I, yeah. I try not to shit talk anything. There's a lot of work that goes in that stuff. So you know, eight season eight, there were some weird decisions, but like that's the story they wanted to tell, and they told it. And uh, to me, it didn't take away from you know Jamie Lancer getting his hand cut off or the Red Wedding or the mm-hmm. dude find, uh, falling out of the skybox. You know what I'm talking about? The mm-hmm. the the yeah yeah, like a lot of that stuff was just awesome. So those those parts are still awesome. The yeah. Viper's getting his head crushed, like all that stuff is still awesome. Season eight, eh, mediocre. So what? Yeah, no, I I, I agree 100. Uh, percent Now, granted, there's stuff. It's funny, you know. I I kind of tend to be the same way, mainly because I'm non-confrontational most of the time. But every once right. in a while, <laughs> that one person you're, that you're like, that person's going to ask me that question. They're going to ask me it. So what'd you really think of blah blah blah? And I'm like, <sighs> how much time do you have? How much time do you have? It's always you. always how much time do you have? <laughs> um, next up, DC fandom. I just mentioned it, October 16th. Uh, again, D- DC fandom to me is is always really exciting. It's it's, it's only happened tw- once. This is the second time it's happened. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this kind of gives us several big things right away. Uh, I'm gonna quickly read through this list. And I'm going to quickly redo another list here in a second. But uh, the, it's the new trailer for the Batman, uh, the content for DC's League of Super Pets, which I don't know what that is. First look at Black Adam. I'm sure The Rock's going to be there in some kind of like V-Nex cardigan again. So you know how he does. Uh, he's got to be sweaty all the time. I don't know why he would ever put on a cardigan. Um, the Flash, we get a sneak peek of that. Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, Shazam, Fury of the Gods behind the scenes. We got um, upcoming stuff with the Batwoman, The Flash, Superman and Lois, and Sweet Tooth shows. That's right. That Sweet Tooth, Dom. Um, we've got, I mean, the Suicide Squad's been on series. <laughs> Peacemaker limited event series. We got DMZ, uh, Farewell Tribute to Supergirl. We got some sneak peeks for Doom Patrol and Titans. 100 episode celebration, DC's Legends tomorrow, which I can't believe that show made it to 100 episodes. Cannot oh my God. believe it. I love that show. That show I can't believe it. Is famous for being just bad, right? Like it's, it's just campy. So, Not bad, but campy. It's campy. Yeah. It's campy. It's got a previous actual Superman movie actor in it with Brandon Routh. Yep. Uh yep. it's it's got two of the guys from Prison Break, that whole yep. monolithic Fox show. And they were partners um, in, in in the show, right? Yeah, it was uh yeah. Captain Cole and and um Oh, what's it? The guy with the fire gun. I can't remember his name. Oh my god, I can just do his voice. It's always he doesn't really go about this yeah, register. Yeah. Um, but no, you're right. Those two guys. Um, and then uh it has Rory. I'm calling him Rory. It's not his name in the yeah. show from Doctor Who. So Doctor Who. Um w- once he was gone, uh I, I was kinda like, eh, I'm out. Yeah, uh, but I was but too. I but then then they brought Matt Ryan in as Constantine. And yeah. He is the best Constantine, period. He's so good. I even watched that limited series of Constantine like, yeah. live. Like when it came out, I was like, yeah. Michelle's like, I thought I thought Constantine was American. I'm like, no, he is no. not. And he smokes cigarettes in your face. And he's blonde. And she's like, then why did Keanu Reeves play? I'm like, then we don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. That movie was fine too, but like that limited run was so I loved it. And I went I, I was mad that they canceled it. And there was apparently so Matt Ryan. Like the the lore behind his like lair yep. and like the Doctor Fate helmet, like we had so yep. much potential. But I yep. digress. But uh, Matt Ryan just walked away from the role, right? Like yeah. something. Yeah, I saw the tweet he put out a couple weeks ago. That's a that's a huge misstep, in my opinion, 
for Warner Brothers to let Matt Ryan walk away from the John Constantine role. He needs to be Constantine in all DC related yeah. media because he's uh, the best. I, I have to agree, man. And uh, like, not only has he been, obviously, the live action version, but he's been voicing all of the animated movies as well as John right. Constantine, which is, again, a no brainer. Like, I love yeah. it when people, the actors that play him IRL, play him as voice actors. Now, granted, there's some people who just can't voice act. That's fine. But he can definitely nail it, and he did. Yeah. But yeah. hopefully they make amends very quickly. Um, other ones to kind of quickly mention here. They got three upcoming uh, comic book dis- discussions for Wonder Woman. Uh, we got a Batman Fortnite crossover again called Batman Fear State. Um, Black Manta series. We've got the Return of a Milestone Universe. Uh, let's see, new look at animated limited series Aquaman King of Atlantis. Harley Quinn season three is coming out. That's awesome. Glad to see that show still going. Uh, yeah. Early look at Batman, Cape Crusader, and preview of Young Justice, Phantoms, Young Justice. You know, our boy Dom's going to love that. And yep. uh, the rounded all out preview of the Injustice animated movie and trailer from the new animated heist movie, Catwoman Hunted. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's not even listing all the people that are going to be on this thing. Like, I, the trailer for it had like 60 names. And I couldn't read them all. All I did was like see if they fucked up and put my name in the list. Like, let's go back to where the H's <laughs> were. I'm like, if I, if I was I in the middle of this? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hey, Sean. This is, I'm, a, I'm a little late to the game, buddy. Sorry. Sean uh, wrote in here. Hey, Sean said, hey, I'll hate on season eight for y'all. Ha ha. He said season eight ruins subsequent, subsequent rewatches for me. I think it's kind of like um, The Office, right? A lot of people only watch rewatch the seasons that had Steve Carell in it. And then they stopped watching it once he left. And then maybe they jumped to like the end where Steve Carell's going yeah. back for like Dwight's wedding. Like, yeah, the, the Andy is manager stuff. The Dwight is manager stuff. Granted, those are fun. There's a lot of great episodes in there, but I think we all kind of agree. Like there, there was a heyday and then there was like yeah. a trickle off at the same time. <laughs> there was also like good episodes where like Will Ferrell was trying to become the manager and then like, uh, Ricky Gervais yep. showed up. And like that, those were always fun too. Or like Idris Alba. James Spader. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, but um, those those have their moments. And, and to kind of speak to Sean's point, like I I totally understand why people like will have issues rewatching because they fall in love with these characters and then a decision's made by some writer that it doesn't make sense, right? Like the a lot of for a lot of people in that show it was the Daenerys turn at the end where she just kind of snaps and goes crazy. Like right. I get it. Going back and rewatching that would probably be like, well, I know how her character ends, so all this cool shit that she's doing now is just gonna get ruined in season eight. I totally yeah. understand that. Makes total sense. Yeah. 